The majority of people investing in Ionic are, are a large number of funds in the United Kingdom and in the United States. Uh, and a number of private individuals. There are a huge number of funds uh, sitting in the wings which would love to invest in Ionica, but they can't at the moment because Ionica is not a, a not equated vehicle. I think what's driving that, that investment is the potential for huge financial returns out of a niche area in telecommunications. It's in many ways analogous to uh, the early investors in the telecommunications area. Uh, and those people who invested in cellular communications, which I think is an area where, which has far outstripped anybody's initial expectations for the, the size of that, uh, that, that business, uh, is something which people will have in the back of their minds when they see uh, the opportunity to invest in Ionica. Like any other investor, Yorkshire Electricity is investing in Ionica because they want a significant return for our money. Secondly, though, we believe that Ionica offers a tremendous investment opportunity, both in the UK and overseas, where there's huge potential. But thirdly, it's important to recognize that Ionica is developing a utility service. It's the sort of service that we feel comfortable about, and yet they're developing it in, in a way that is extremely innovative and offers potential for great success in the competitive future. We think that Ionica has the ability to be a real second competitor to British Telecom on a nationwide business and get significant penetration. And we also think that it has the ability to take this same system and technology internationally and grow the company not only in the UK, but in a lot of developing markets around the world. Our market is the ordinary person in the street. 96% of this country gets its telephone line into its house from BT, and 85% of the country has no choice about it. You've got to go to BT. We're providing the ordinary guy in the street with an alternative for the fixed service in his home. In addition, we're providing telephone services to small businesses. There are three million small business lines in the UK, and again, they have to go to BT whether they like it or not. I think his objective is to build a national telephone company serving well over a million customers within five to seven years of the launch of that service. And to create a brand in the marketplace which allows people, or which results in people believing that we offer very high standards of customer service, lower cost operation, uh, and features that our competitors don't offer today. What we recognise very strongly from our research is that every household is individual and every household has different needs. Ionica is able to take all the features that are currently available in the telephony market through the use of modern digital exchanges and offer these to the consumers, often for the very first time. What we are offering is the consumer a choice that they can choose which of these features they want to buy into and which ones they don't. The telephone is not a luxury, it's an essential part of modern life. You have to be able to rely upon it utterly. So we provide you with a totally reliable service, we provide you also with multiple lines, uh, we provide you with the backup that you need. Much of what we're doing has been done before. What we're doing now for the first time uh, is bringing a lot of very high-powered electronics to bear uh, in order that we can provide uh, this kind of, of telephony service uh, in a country like the United Kingdom where population density is high, where the demand for services is very high. Uh, and do it uh, at a cost which is going to be attractive to the end user. The key to Ionica's business is using radio technology to reduce the capital costs in building the network. And their focus on meeting customer requirements with a high quality service at a lower price than its competitors. In a conventional network, the costs of connecting you to your house represent the single most costly element of any telephone call. We bypass all of that, we use radio and we save a huge amount of money. And in the process, we can pass on those cost savings to the consumer. We're not, of course, a mobile operator. Uh, the services that we provide are fixed services. We're using a radio technology. We're not uh, using a cable-based technology. Uh, that allows us to bypass the, the cost, the disruption, the time penalties uh, of having to dig the streets in order to lay cable systems. Uh, as far as our customers concern, the manner in which we connect them into the network uh, is by virtue of the antenna which we install on each of our customers' premises. That connects them into uh, our overall network uh, via a base station, which we will build in the, in the vicinity of where our customers are located. That base station, in turn, is connected through to our switching centre, our telephone exchange, 
uh, and that telephone exchange in its turn uh, is connected into the world's uh, telecommunications networks so that our customers are able to place a call to anywhere that they wish in the world. One of the most attractive things about Ionica is it's very low upfront costs. It only costs us around £10 to pass a home compared to hundreds for a cable company. With Ionica the investment follows the customer. Only when we signed up a customer do we have to put in large amounts of capital. But therefore, we can make profits even at very low rates of penetration. Obviously, the higher the penetration gets, the more profit we make. What the customers want from their telephone service is value for money, pure and simple. Uh, there will be a number of competitors providing telephone services. What we have to do is to provide those range of telephone services as efficiently, as professionally as possible and at the lowest possible cost. I don't think it's about blower bills at all. I believe it's about a level of service that you can compare with the standard and see that it's visibly better. From the very, very beginning, we've identified service quality as the most important thing. There's no good having a company that costs 20% less than BT if it doesn't work. So the pile it high, sell it cheap philosophy could not be further from, from our thinking. A potential customer wants a very reliable telephone service, backed up by a professional and efficient support team. Ionica will provide the service that the customer wants. Other telephone companies historically have tended to provide a service that the telephone company thinks the customer wants. We're not going to do it like that. We're going to listen to our customers and we're going to give them what they want. Customer services is there solely to provide a service to our customers. If they have any questions whatsoever about any aspect of the Arnica service, they will call us. They'll call us by dialing 150 and it's a one-stop shop. They can call us 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and they'll come through to the customer services team who will be able to answer any question they have. Today's customer expects service to be available all the time. They expect good value for money as well. Technology tends to be sold on how wonderful it is and all the benefits that it can bring. The benefit that's really important to the customer is that it meets the customer's requirement for a reasonable price. In Ionica, we're going to meet that requirement by making sure that we employ the right kind of people, we give them the right kind of support from their IT systems, um, that we deploy a network that's capable of fulfilling the customer's expectations. Many of our competitors uh, are struggling with a sort of rate of change that the business demands of them uh, because of legacy systems that they have within their businesses. Um, our principal, principal competitor within the UK uh, is looking at a 10-year programme to migrate its systems to a, a more modern technical environment. Ionica has implemented that new modern environment in well under three years. What we've been trying to achieve is to ensure that the people who do service those customers are able to concentrate on servicing those customers, not on operating information systems. Engineering is very important. A telephone company operates a telephone network. A telephone network is a very complex piece of engineering, but that's not what it's about. Customers are not interested uh, in the complexities of the telephone network. Customers are interested in the service that we are able to provide over it and using it. Customers are interested in what they have to pay for those services. They're interested in the manner in which we provide those services to them. They're interested in the way that we support them in the use of those services. The technology is well down the back of the queue somewhere. We originally conducted our market research in 1992. At that time it showed 27% would like to switch to Ionica or a service like Ionica's. At that time that seemed an incredibly high number. In the meantime, cable companies have proved that that kind of number of people are prepared to switch. And more recently our research has showed that that proportion has gone up even higher. We are a credible alternative because we don't have the take it or leave it attitude, nor do we adopt the hard sell. Added to that the significant cost savings and the support services and the committed team of people here, and you really have a winning package. Well, people want to change. The, the quality of our telephony is fantastic. You, you, you've got to listen to it to hear the difference. I don't think there's really any doubt about Arnica's success. Um, if you speak to people in the industry and out in the marketplace, the response that you get when you describe what Arnica is going to do is really, why didn't somebody do it before? The team of people that Arnica's put in place today is probably unmatched by any of our competitors. 
um, not just in terms of people uh, coming in from other telecommunications companies, but in bringing fresh ideas to the way that telecommunications markets should operate in the UK. Yeah, I believe Ionica will succeed on one premise and almost one premise only, and that is that Ionica has the best team in the business. Ionica will succeed because we have a first-class marketing team to generate the awareness in the marketplace. We have strong sales teams who will capitalise on that awareness and persuade members of the public to switch to Ionica. And then we have the backup of excellent support teams who will help to keep those customers with us. I know that Ionica will be a world leader in the communications market. I think in the, the next 10 years we will succeed in our basic aim, which is to establish a, a good position in the residential and small business market. I think we will capitalise on what we have in technological terms in our network to be able to provide customers with new services, innovative services, which they will want in the coming years. I think in providing those uh, new services, we will win more customers, strengthen our position further in that market, and indeed, no doubt, develop additional markets. We think the Ionica business plan is a fairly conservative business plan. Uh, they've assumed 2% penetration to break even, which we think is a very achievable number. If you look at the success that the cable companies have had in the UK, they have in many cases gone over 20% in their penetration. And Ionica should have the ability to do that, but do it on a nationwide basis. I believe in Ionica because it has a winning combination of a product that the consumer will want and at a price below that they currently pay. In any marketing terms, that's a successful formula. We're ready to go. What we're doing here has never been done before anywhere in the world. We've got a unique opportunity to take advantage of a service concept that's completely new. We're providing people with very high quality service, with a whole range of new features at prices which are going to be very attractive. We've built the financial muscle to make it happen, we've got the right technology, we've got the right team, and we've built up a huge set of abilities through our partners who are helping us to make it happen all together. There's a great potential in the marketplace in the UK. 96% of the people in this country still are with BT. So we've got the opportunity to take advantage of the lead we've already created, and we're going to take it. Thank you.